424 once again with NASCAR 08. And in this episode of our season with David Ruman's Double Zero Burger King Toyota Camry, we are going to be completing race 3 of 36, which is going to take place at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. In the last episode, we charged really close at the end of the race, which was California Speedway. We had a chance of getting a top 10, and then we got it, and I think we almost had a chance of getting a top 5. But sadly, uh, the drivers that we were racing against were really packed together, and we didn't have as much room as we needed to handle the track. The car was really tight. I was supposed to make judgments during my pit stop, and then I forgot to do that. Almost sped down pit road. And during our pit stop, our pit crew fumbled, so that also probably kept us from getting a few spots. But Las Vegas, this is going to be hectic, because the AI are freaking nuts at this track. And NASCAR 09. And this came before NASCAR 09, so pretty sure it's going to be even more nuts, because, yeah, some updates and changes are not included. In the last episode, we used the Domino's car, and we're using the Burger King car, because I feel like racing the Burger King car at Las Vegas, you know, because it's got flames, Las Vegas is in the desert, it's hot in the desert, flames, hotness, I don't know, let's just get to the freaking racetrack. Tony Stewart is on the pole again, Kyle Busch is going to be starting on the outside of him in second place, Elliott Sattler will be starting in third, Jeff Gordon fourth, Kurt Busch fifth, Sterling Marlin sixth, uh, David Gillen, I almost said Elliott Sattler in seventh, so yeah, Elliott Sattler would totally be... Two, taking up two spots in the top ten. Great job, JC. Scott Riggs in eighth, John Wood ninth, and Robbie Gordon in tenth. Oh my god, fucking John Wood. Doesn't John Wood drive the Heinz catch-up car? Well, I think someone else drives the, the other 21 car, because they got two 21 cars in one race. Green flag is out. We're underway for 21 laps here in Vegas, which is just one more lap than it was at California. Or this is, this is a shorter race overall. Looks like uh, Paul Menard and everybody's not going to go anywhere into turn one. I should not be surprised. Uh, anyways, I should mention it now. There's Reed Sorensen, if I'm correct. He is, uh, okay, y'all can sit the brakes again right there. That's always fine. Um, Reed Sorensen is very pissed off at me because he dumped me. He, in he invertedly dumped me um, in California. And now Paul Menard is pissed off at me for something that was completely his fault. It's everybody's fault because everybody keeps on hitting the brakes in the middle of nowhere. Uh, why you get this rival crap off my screen? I, I don't care about it. Well, I don't care about rivals. I need to get rid of my rivals, so I ain't got to worry about them. I need to be making passes. We'll make a clean pass, and you will be less of a rival. Bobby Labonte was running well last race, but he fell out of the top ten, and now he's all the way back here. So, like I said, the AI are not consistent in this game. You know, KCAL Gaming warned me that these AI do not enjoy race at this freaking track, and I already knew it, but golly. And I thought that it would be worse than Astro at 9, just because... This game came before it. I wasn't kidding. It is very, very much worse. And now I have a monster gap to cover because of that wreck that just happened in the backstretch. I think the most memorable thing from NASCAR 09 when we raced at Las Vegas would have to have been when all the cars tried to enter pit road and the whole field just had a diuretic moment. Um, for some reason, Ricky Rudd let me underneath him and didn't hit me on purpose. You know, what's the, what's the point of even trying to pass anybody? You can't make contact in this game without the game exploding. And you, you can't do anything. Get out the fucking way, Ricky Road. Fuck you. I'm sick of this crap. I'm sick of trying to do anything, and then it all just turning into complete failure. Uh, my teammate Michael Walter won at California, and now he's in 23rd place, so that sucks. Can I can I race now? Can we hit, stop having stupidity happen to me? Oh my goodness. I, I, I just can't even sometimes, man. I still prefer this game over NASCAR 09, but it's still like this. Um, I think NASCAR 09 was bad enough. Oh, okay. It looks like Brian Biggers wanted to hit my teammate because that was all fine and good. Let's 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 make some passes. Just got to out the gas mid corner. They're all going to slam on the brakes in, in between turns three and four. That's all fine. Okay, so now we're in twenty second. I'm having a lot of fun right now. Not good fun. I'm having fun, but it's making me angry because I don't I don't want to have fun. I want to have actual fun. Like th this is this is bad fun. Bad fun, man. They leave the bottom open, I go there, and then they all slam on the brakes in front of me so that I, I ass ram them. I don't know what to do. I don't know when they're going to do it. They do it sometimes. Everybody just slow down off of turn two, pulling out from behind Denny Hamlin. They go to the outside, maybe something good could come of this. Uh, okay. Okay! Fuck me for trying anything that I consider smart. I mean, I go to the outside so everybody has room, then they dive on the corner and crash into me. They, they don't know how to take advantage of any anything that they give them. I wasn't trying to give them any advantage. I wasn't trying to give them a Jeff Burton moment. I was just 
you know, trying not to get hit for once by the back of their cars. So, whenever I pull out from behind and go to the outside, instead of slamming on the brakes in front of me, they go crashing into me from behind and stuff. Oh my god, the bipolarness is real. Ryan Newman is the only reason why anybody uses the word bipolar. My, my hood just fell off. Okay. Yeah, it came right underneath my car. One of my tires have been popped because of that, because it went underneath my car, but it didn't happen. Okay, so we have a caution. We're not exactly halfway yet, though, are we? So are people pitting or no? Yeah, I don't, I really have no idea. I'm looking at it, I'm trying to see up there if they're pitting. Nope, no one's pitting, so we're not going to pit. We'll pit whenever they do. I have to deal with this restart and the wheel spin. Okay, wheel spin wasn't all that bad. David Reagan is our next car to pass. will be in the top 15. Um, everybody got a fantastic restart except for me for some unapparent reason. Uh, unapparent reason, man. I get that a lot whenever it comes to these freaking games. And we got back up to him at the restart. Let me guess. I'm going to try to make a pass and they're all going to hit the brakes again. Or whenever I try getting underneath them, my car will kill its runoff. I, I tried going underneath them, but my car decided not to turn and actually make that happen. It's like I know my car can turn, but then my car tries to prove me wrong and says, Hey, you can't turn. Why did you hit me for? I was right there. Oh my god. Is this like the worst track to race at in this entire game? Is there something worse that I should be looking forward to? Because I apparently have not played every inch of this damn game yet. I am right here, fucktard. Oh my goodness. And we're not even halfway through this diarrhea. Diarrhea. This, this has diarrhea written all over it. We are 1.6 seconds behind the leader. I'm going to give Sterling Marlin a bit of a push and another push because he's not going anywhere. And I can't get off the freaking apron. If I'm correct, this is the first time that they raced on the new paving of Las Vegas. I don't. I think it was. In, they didn't have this paving in NASCAR 07, if I remember correctly. I have severe front end damage, but I would assume that's just my hood. Maybe it's like I can't say splitter. We don't have splitters. I don't know what they call it. The, the front fender. I, I don't know. I have no idea what you call the front of the car. It's very bent in, so I can see what they mean. We're in the top ten, so that's great. There's Brian Newman. I'm trying out to drive in the back of them, which will cause a huge wreck, apparently. Anything that I do to any of these AI will cause a wreck. If I try passing them, they cause a wreck because they don't know I exist. Uh, that, that triggers me, man. People that don't know Burger King is actually a thing. Come on, man. You can't be doing this to me. Okay, stay at the bottom. Don't want to drive up in that 21 car. That's not supposed to be up here. That 21 car should be finishing in 30th place every race. Okay, um, Elliot Sadler... Duh, you, you aren't clear. You can't just go high. You cut off Kyle Busch, and now Kyle Busch's momentum is killed. Tony Stewart is leading this race. Oh my! Holy! Okay! Whoa! I saw every second of that happen. He tried going down pit road, and he, he went for a rodeo. It's Kurt Busch. For a second, I couldn't tell if that was Clint Boyer or Ryan Newman. We already passed Ryan Newman, so I should have assumed it wasn't him. Well, this game is full of surprises, though to some people who already have this game, I'm pretty sure it's not a surprise. I'm enjoying this season so far. A lot of, uh, a lot of interesting happenings. Yeah, we're going to pit because we're at the halfway point right now. Everybody's going to go down with us. Hopefully we get a good pit stop. Ryan Newman, he drove in the back of me. Okay, uh, I don't need to make any adjustments to this car. Uh, it's suiting me better than what happened in California. I just forgot to make adjustments there. Um, we're going to fix the damage because I want my car to perform better. We might lose some spots because of that, but we have another half of the race to go. I think we can win this thing. It all depends on how the AI rubber bands at the restart or something, I guess. Just like always, we have the fourth pit stall or third pit stall on pit road. Elliot Sadler is in front of us. Please don't make a fumble this time. Last time he fumbled, and that probably kept me from getting a top five. Of course, I kept myself from getting a top five by not finishing a pass on a, was it Ken Schrader? Yeah, Ken Schrader drives a little Debbie car, the 21, and John Wood drives the, the Heinz catch-up car. Okay, so I have that cleared up finally. And off pit road, we're in third place? Wow, we actually gained spots on pit road while repairing damage. I mean, even if I hadn't repaired damage, I'm pretty sure I would be 
in the um I still wouldn't be in the lead or anything. Okay. No wheel spin issues. So John Wood came out in front of me and Elliot Tower came out in front of me. And um they both have an insane amount of damage. Well, not John Wood, but Elliot Tower does at least. Let's say that John Wood has a little damage. I'm pretty sure everybody has damage just because of how they race each other. The car's looking all good again. And there's a caution. I don't know if that would have been for Elliot Tower. I didn't see anything come off of his car. A bunch of people have damage, like I just said. So it's the, the 41 car, Reed Sorensen. What in the hell? He just... He didn't even touch anything. The damage... There's no damage to his car. What the hell just happened? You saw the debris. He got loose because of the damage that came off of his car. It looked like the back of his car just freaking came off. But whenever you look at the car, there's... there's uh, so many things to make me OCD. It's a freaking game. Oh, he dropped debris, but yet his car is in complete perfect condition. And another restart. Also at that restart, John Wood um, somehow managed to take the lead just before the caution came out. And I drove down to the apron because of the wheel spin. Even though wheel spin wasn't a problem last restart. Uh, I'm trying not to hit this 19 car, but I'm so far down at the bottom going in. So we got second place. Another caution happens because of debris. At least we're in second, I suppose. Now we just gotta find our way around John Wood. Oh my god. God damn John Wood. This, this EA Sports. They put John Wood in the game and then he's just the Annihilator. That, that's what his nickname is this season. The Annihilator. The Annihilating Heinz Ketchup. Well, I, I, I think Burger King can do without Heinz Ketchup. We're gonna dive it underneath him into turn one. Keep it at the bottom. Simple pass. Now, let's just keep leading this race until a caution comes out. Shouldn't be a problem. Or you could... I tried to block him, but he got such a monstrous run out of nowhere that he actually touched the back of my car. Um, can I keep this lead? Please? I'm pretty sure we're going to have another degree caution before this is over. There's no freaking way, man. I mean, think of Elliot Sauer in third. And there's a caution right at the start-finish line going into lap 17. Uh, so we've had quite a few position changes in second place. Yeah, it looks. I predicted it. It was Elliot Sadler. I think at some point I saw Tony Stewart on the apron through turn one. I don't know if he's getting a DNF or what, but I don't see him in the top ten anywhere. Man, please don't tell me that my only competition for this championship at the moment just freaking got a DNF. Ah, uh, Elliot Sadler to recaution. I can't believe I was actually able to predict that. I mean, he was right next to me, so who knows. So now we got another restart. I don't know if this is going to turn out very well, but we're about to find out. Uh, getting some wheel spin this time. A lot of wheel spin. Okay, let's get back in line if the game will let me without wrecking the car. There's Kevin Harvick. Okay, got back going again. Now they're probably going to rubber band back towards me. I don't know. Looks like I'm really pulling away. Keeping my eye on the mirror. White flag waves this time by last lap of the race. JJ Illy's trying to catch back up to me. I think he might be succeeding. All I gotta do is hit my marks one more time. I highly doubt he's gonna get back around me. Got a really good turn one and two. Tires are wearing out and the fuel is past halfway, but that ain't much of a problem for me. We're gonna take... So far we've done two races in this Burger King car, and we're gonna be taking it to victory lane both times. If that's gonna be the case for every single time I use this Burger King car, I think I like the sound of that because I totally prefer Burger King over Domino's. If you think that's weird, then I really don't care. And John Wood finishes in third place, so he kind of had a, a comeback from whatever situation after after the other restart. Let's do some donuts! What do we call donuts? Whenever we're doing a day to rudiment. Root nuts. Root nuts? Root nuts. Rootscape nuts. I have no idea. Burger King doesn't sell donuts, so... Um... I have no clue. I, I wouldn't know what to call them. Somebody else, something, somebody else come up with them, because I'm not getting anywhere with this. And enough of that shit. Let's go ahead and read the race results. I got a medallion for winning the race, of course. For the second time this season, started in 43rd and finished in 1st. We led 9 laps, which will give us the most laps led. The fact that I started in last place and led the most laps was kind of ridiculous, so that's... That's a first this time, though. 
J.J. Yilly started 17th and finished in 2nd. John Wood started 9th and finished in 3rd. He led a lap. Kevin Harvick started 16th and finished in 4th. Uh, I think that's Kyle Busch right there. Started in 2nd and finished in 5th. Maybe it's Kurt Busch because Kurt Busch was up front um, bringing out that first damn caution. Elliot Sadler started in 3rd and finished in 6th. And he led one lap. Robbie Gordon started 10th and finished in 7th. Michael Waltrip started 21st and finished in 8th. Joe Nemechek started 40th and finished in 9th, so he was on the move in this race. And Dave Blaney started 26th and finished in 10th. And that is all that stuff. You guys can look through the rest of the race results if you would like to. Blobbity, blobbity, blurbity, blur. Dylan Hart Jr. finished in 22nd. Oh my goodness. It's freaking EA Sports and Astro Games where none of the drivers are consistent. We have good drivers doing bad, and then we have good drivers... Um, doing good, and it's just back and forth. It's all over the damn place. Jeff Gordon started fourth, finished in 31st, and he somehow led a lap. Uh, our teammate Dale Jarrett started 14th and finished in 34th. We already saw where Michael Walter finished, 8th or whatever it was. And those are the race results. Yeah, I was right. Tony Stewart, he started on pole, led nine laps, which is equal to mine, so he also got the most laps led, and got a DNF, finishing 43rd. What happened to him? I, I mean, he was in the lead. We saw him during the replay in which Kurt Busch um, had a spontaneous combustion into turn four. And next thing you know, uh, Tony Stewart is just DNF. I saw him at one point on the apron. After winning our second race of the season in Vegas, we are first place in front of J.J. Yilly by 50 points. Ah, uh, already turning out to be a dominant championship. We all saw this coming. But at least the racing is decent here and there. Kyle Busch is in third, 75 back. Our teammate Michael Waltrip is in fourth, 97 back. Robbie Gordon is somehow in fifth, 117 back. Looks like only four drivers are within 100 points of the points lead. I don't even think that's going to last going into Atlanta next. Tony Stewart, after getting that DNF, is in sixth place, 136 back. So that really sucks. Hopefully at Atlanta, he finishes in the top five to get his championship back going again. He lost a ton of momentum by losing that race so badly. Jimmy Johnson is in 7th, 149 back. Kevin Harvick, 8th, 169 back. John Wood, who finished 3rd in that race, is in 9th, 177 back. And Bobby Labonte is in 10th place, 193 points back. Wow, Dale Jarrett is in 40th place. Wasn't he in, like, 38th after the California race? Uh, at least Michael Waltrip is doing well. I can't believe that Dale Jarrett is doing so much worse than Michael Waltrip. I personally think that is very stupid to... Such an extreme, considering I just won a championship with Del Jared in NASCAR 2005. I'll see you guys on Thursday for the Cobalt Tools 500 at Atlanta Motor Speedway, race 4 of 36. Real racing, real fast. I already know the racing at Atlanta in NASCAR 08 and 09 is pretty damn good, especially in comparison to the garbage that Las Vegas just was. With that having been said, see you next time. That's that, and episode over.